So if the new Galaxy S21 has a fingerprint sensor in its screen, and Galaxy phones have had it for the last two years, that should mean that the iPhone should get it soon. The answer has got to be right in here someplace. In case it's not obvious what I'm doing here, I'm trying to take years of evidence that Samsung's Galaxy S smartphones get cutting edge hardware ahead of Apple's iPhones to figure out what's gonna be in the next iPhone. And yes, I'm fully aware that iPhones often get or lose features ahead of Samsung Galaxy phones. Why we would remove the analog headphone jack, it really comes down to one word, courage. So why do this now? Well, this is the brand new Samsung Galaxy S21 and 21 Ultra. And while they didn't make a big splash a couple weeks back when Samsung introduced them, they are great phones, and I recommend them to anyone who wants the best Android phone. But there are three specific hardware features that will make iPhone users jealous. Number one, a fingerprint sensor embedded in the screen. Very handy for our mask world. Starting right now, one, two, three, in. Starting now, in. Number two, faster 120 hertz screens. I'll explain what that means in a minute. Number three, a crazy camera with a 10x optical zoom on the highest end model, the Galaxy S21 Ultra. So let us turn to the evidence to see if any of it can give us some clues as to what's next for iPhone users. Let's start with what Samsung had first, water resistance. Samsung introduced it first on the Galaxy S5 in 2014. Apple added it two years later, in 2016, to the iPhone 7. Wireless charging? Samsung introduced it around the same time, with wireless charging cases for the Galaxy S4 and S5. It was integrated in the Galaxy S6. Apple added it later, in 2017, to the iPhone 8 and 10. It's fair to say Samsung has always been a step ahead on screens. The Galaxy S6 from 2015 and the Galaxy S7 from 2016 had OLED screens and the edge versions of those phones cut down on the bezels with screens that stretched all the way to the sides. It wasn't until two years later with the iPhone X that Apple did something similar. Okay, okay, now there's a pattern here. Now, in complete fairness, there has been a long history of Samsung following Apple on countless features. Heck, the entire Galaxy line was inspired by the success of the iPhone. Just go back to 2011, to the patent battles, where Apple said Samsung has chosen to slavishly copy Apple's innovative technology. The company settled the fight in 2018. Samsung paid Apple $539 million. But there's some more recent evidence. Apple put two rear cameras into the iPhone 7 Plus in 2016. Samsung added it two years later in its Galaxy S line with the S9 Plus. Apple nixed the headphone jack with the iPhone 7. Samsung waited a bit. Four years later, with the Galaxy S20, it said bye-bye too. With the iPhone 12 in 2020, Apple got rid of the charger in the box. Samsung followed quickly with the new Galaxy S21. Sure, it's right here. So what does it mean for the next iPhone getting some of my favorite Galaxy S21 features? I think quite a bit. Let's take a look at the list again. Number one, that fingerprint sensor I just raved about. Samsung introduced this first in the Galaxy S10. It didn't work great then, but it's now super fast, accurate, and more reliable, thanks to a new ultrasonic sensor made by Qualcomm. Apple tends to wait on these technologies, so it isn't first, but it's better. And with that, Apple's been working on in-screen fingerprint technology and has considered including both Touch ID and Face ID on the same device two former Apple employees told me. There have been reports that the next iPhone will have this in-screen sensor too. Apple also holds a number of patents related to this type of in-screen technology. Two were filed in the past year. Number two, a 120 hertz screen. There's a lot of complicated screen refresh rate tech behind it all, but it simply means games, scrolling, and using a stylus can be much smoother. Samsung, by the way, is one of Apple's display technology providers, and there have been reports that Samsung will be the provider of this sort of display in the iPhone 13. Number three, an ultra zoom. The Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra has four cameras, a wide, an ultra wide, a 3X telephoto, and a 10X telephoto. The last one is capable of super clear photos from really far away. Multiple reports say Apple is planning to add this to its pro models at some point. 
Apple declined to comment on all three of these features and any of its future iPhone plans. But if you believe my wall of evidence, it's all coming. And that's because, as Winston Churchill once famously said, those who fail to learn about smartphone launch history are doomed to not know when their iPhone will get a fingerprint sensor again. Yeah, I think that, that's what he said. This, something like that, yeah. Now, if there was just a way to figure out when that folding iPhone is coming. Oof, look at that crease. 